Well guys, today is a really bad day. It's starting to rain outside and it's pretty cold outside. So today's video I'm going to show you how I winterize uh, my lawn equipment. So I won't be able to start the uh, FS70 for Yojo Pemp, but I will feature it on the lawn cutting video when it starts to uh, become a lot more warmer and sunny. Okay, so basically what I do, um, very simple. Is I drain the gas out of the machine. So I run. Sometimes I run them till they're till they're dry. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll unscrew all these bolts and put the fuel valve on and salvage the gas. So I'll give you some warm starts. Uh, the 5126. There we go. So, completely drained. So, um, prime it a few times, try to pull it again, see if it'll fire. All right, congratulations. That's how you winterize lawn equipment. And uh, for the trimmers and the blowers, you do the exact same thing. The reason why I do this because uh, gas has a half-life of 30 days before it completely loses its volatility. So if you got to start your mower or uh, trimmer in the springtime, you'll figure out, find out that it will be a lot harder to start. Uh, stabilizers are okay, but they don't. They only prolong it for about three months. Um, but uh, other than that, it's good to use. So that's how I winterize my lawn equipment. So uh, for the final lawn cutting video, I'll give you some choices of the lawn boys uh, we, that are still left to use. Uh, we can use the 10642, uh, the 5277, uh, the 4630, the um, 10323, or the 7073. And the choice of trimmers I have left are the still FS38, the FS7ERC, and the Shindewa 22F. All the others are put away. So let me know what you guys want me to uh, film. And uh, that's it. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.